China doesn't want, and I'm very close to China. I have the biggest bank in the world as a tenant of mine in New York. The biggest in the world, a Chinese bank. Don't worry about that baby. I love babies. So. I love babies. I hear that baby crying. I like it. I like it. What a baby. What a beautiful baby. Don't worry. Don't worry. The mom's running around like, don't worry about it, you know. It's young and beautiful and healthy, and that's what we want. Okay. But, but look, look. China, when they devalue, when China devalues its currency, they take our guts out. And they do it so often. They do it so often. They're constantly devaluing their currency. And they always wait till like it's a bad time. Like we have a problem with Iraq. We have a problem with Afghanistan. Every time we have like a big problem, they always devalue. And a year and a half ago, they devalued the biggest devaluation they've done in 20 years. Biggest in 20 years. And I said, man, how did they get away? But we had a problem. We were doing other things, okay? So when China does that, we have to fight back. Now, here's how you fight back. Because we can't fight back any other way. We have the piggy bank. They have ripped us to shreds. Ripped us absolutely to shreds. Actually, I was only kidding. You can get the baby out of here. That's all right. Don't worry. I, I think she really believed me that I love having a baby crying while I'm speaking. That's okay. People don't understand. That's okay. But so you have, you have a situation. That's right. We're with her now. Oh, okay. Who are her. you talking to? Well, I'm talking to the American people, and I'm letting them know that we're with her. Well, you forgot your son. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, no, my child. Oh, Hillary, put an end to this. 